Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here, I'm Jamie. Today I'm coming on here to talk to you about a range of different Tom Ford face products that I have. So all makeup, but I have the Tom Ford foundation and then some eyeshadows and a blush and highlight, a bronzer, some lipsticks, just a whole combination of different products and different product types. And I do some swatches and I put all of the makeup on my face. This is the completed look, spoiler. But um, I'm gonna take you through my makeup application, tell you what I like, what I dislike about the formulas, talk to you about where I got them and how much they cost. Actually, top secret here, the cosmetics company is a store that sells all of these products on a steep discount, like 60% off. So if you have one, you should look it up, Google it. It's definitely worth your time to look into, at least if you're interested in luxury makeup at a discount, I would definitely recommend them. But anyway, that's where I got this makeup. If I didn't have that type of store, there is no way I'd afford a $90 bronzer and a $150 foundation. That's just ludicrous. So I'm so happy I have that store. They're really the secret to my Tom Ford collection that I have. I hope to share this information with you guys will be valuable so that you'll learn if you want to spend your money on products like this and hopefully you can learn from my experience. So if you like videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you and let's jump into the makeup tutorial. I'm going to be back with a fresh face in three, two, one. So let's dig into the Tom Ford makeup. So first we will start with foundation. I actually have two different shades of their foundation. I have 3.7 Champagne and 5.5 Bisque. As I've mentioned, I bought these from the cosmetics company. So you don't really get to choose, you know, your perfect shade there. There's definitely not testers or anything on that order, but they will actually um, swatch it for you if you ask them to. So at the time I just picked up, the first time I went there, I picked up Bisque and I thought that that might be good just by looking at the container, but it's definitely too dark. I'll um, do a little swatch of my hand for you guys, just so you can see. So this top one is Champagne and that bottom one is Bisque. So you can see champagne matches me pretty well. So we're gonna go with champagne today. I have some primer down already. I used the All Nighter Primer, uh, Urban Decay. I like that one. So uh, let's go in with champagne then. I can just like put some of this on my face like this. I think I'm gonna start out with my hands. Um, massaging this in and then I will use the sponge as a last step if we need to. All right, this smells kind of a little bit like, hmm, Noxzema. I don't know why. I don't know what is in here. I don't know anything about what's in the product. I probably should since I rub things all over my face. I probably, and in my hair apparently. Um, I probably should know what's in the product, but it definitely smells like something that's in Noxzema, which is a little strange, but hey, Noxzema is skincare. Well, I just think about, did you guys do that when you were a kid? I mean, we used that cold cream, Noxzema cold cream was like the thing and so I remember like slathering it on your face, wearing it like a mask, and then cleansing it off. Did you guys use Noxzema cold cream? I thought that was a big deal when I was a kid. I don't know if it was just like trending before social media. We should bring Noxzema back. It can be like a movement. I wonder what that active ingredient is though. Makes it smell like that. It kind of smells like a little bit of a cleanser. Odd. I'm glad that it's not like an overwhelming smell though. You know, some of the makeup brands just have overwhelming, these high-end brands, fragrances are just like wham. But this is good. Not too bad. That shade isn't that light. I think it's a good 
match for me. And the finish is actually pretty good. It's definitely like a soft satin finish. So it's not leaving me too glowy or too matte. So I'm liking that. Okay, let's move on to the next step. I am like so excited that I have this much Tom Ford makeup. It's, this is incredible. It's just, what a blessing to have that store be able to have these items so that I could pick them up. Great. Otherwise, I would have never tried Tom Ford. I think one thing that I had <laughs> was this teeny tiny lipstick. I had that from like a Sephora's kit. That was the only thing I had prior to the cosmetics company. Everything else has been purchased since from there. And I really wasn't like, there wasn't like a hole in my life because I hadn't had Tom Ford makeup. Like I just think it's outrageously priced and I just could not bring myself to do that. Maybe if I ran into tons of extra money someday, that would be awesome. But I do not have that right now. So I'm just gonna work with what we have. So. I just put a little bit of eyeshadow primer down. It, once again, is that benign glitter glue. I use this all the time. Just really easy and soaks in really fast and holds my eyeshadow well. So moving on to the next product, we're gonna go for these eyeshadows. So I actually have two eyeshadow quads. And this is like crazy. First I have the new dip quad, looks like that. And I guess this is their wet dry formula. That's what I've learned from other people who know what they're talking about. <laughs> so anything with the imprint of Tom Ford is wet dry, as far as I know. And then the other one that I have is the Coco Mirage, which they actually phase this out and it's no longer available. And this is like a bunch of people's holy grail, Mel Thompson, who I watch. This is like her favorite palette of all time. So to see it at the cosmetics company, uh, you know, a couple months ago, I was like, what? Yes, I was so tempted to even maybe buy two, but I'm like, oh, I've never even used it before. What are you doing? <laughs> so I passed and that, and those two, I got them both for, I think around $30 each. And I had heard great things about new dip. The bad thing is that I'm not really a um, cool toned person. So I don't know this, some of these really beautiful colors in here. So this is new dip. They just don't, I don't feel like they look that good on me. Like this color, I just don't think it looks good on me. The rest of them I can get away with, but I don't know. Anyway, I'll swatch a Coco Mirage really quick too. Just so you guys see that. Get my face out of there. Lightest, mid-tone, darker, darkest. Okay, let's jump in to putting these on the eyes. So I'm gonna, you know, stick with these on more of my lids because that's where what I like to do with that. So I'm gonna start with Coco Mirage on my eyes and I'm gonna use the base color to set my eyes. These are powdery. Um, but they're nice, but I would say they come off pretty powdery. And there's pretty good pigment to them. Now this palette, because it's being phased out and everything is probably closer to being expired. I actually hadn't looked up the expiration date on it or anything, but it's eyeshadow. I don't really take expiration dates too seriously unless it's like super old or I think it'll give me an eye infection or something. That would be a problem, but I don't really feel like that with this. So. We're gonna move on to like this mid-tone crease color. Wow, a lot of powder came off, so I'm actually gonna deposit it on both of my creases and rub it in. So I'm not just overwhelming one eye. I don't know, I'm like, 
into the hype of Tom Ford because I'm on the train now, but I don't know. It's so hard to pay this much for products. And four little eyeshadows, $88, $90. That's like, what? What is it gonna, it better put itself on my eyes for that amount of money. I don't understand why I have to apply it. It should just jump on in there and be perfect. Just so much money, it's ridiculous. But like I said, I got these palettes for like $30 and then I actually got the foundation for $10. It's a $150 foundation. I got it for $10. They were running this six for 60 sale you can buy six products, but it has to be six different brands throughout the store, and then you get it for 60 bucks. So I did it twice. And I also got a bunch of other products. I got Bobbi Brown, I got Too Faced products, Smashbox, Clinique, all the products that they carry. You can just mix and match, but you have to have one from each brand and or you know, one from six different brands. So I did that and I ended up getting this, uh, the foundation for $10. Best makeup purchase. I think I got it like on, um, right before the new year. So they were like clearancing things out, I guess. So maybe it was like the 29th or something. Or maybe it was New Year's Eve, I almost think. It was New Year's Eve that I went in there. And then the next day, I went back again and got more. <laughs> that was crazy. I still ended up spending $180, which is just ridiculous. But I did get some presents, stuff that I could give, like my sister. Um, so I got her some stuff and then I dabbled and just got stuff in all different brands, but it was cool. That was awesome. I was ecstatic. And then I was ecstatic the time I got the Coco Mirage palette for 30 bucks too. I hadn't even tried it. <laughs> I hadn't even swatched it. I just heard other people rave about it and I was like, heck yeah. So that, those were exciting, exciting makeup days. Um, so I, you know, darkened up my eye there. I think I'm going to go in to the nude palette. I am going to go into this shade new dip and put that on my uh, on my eyelid so you can see it definitely comes off cool tone it is cool toned I mean it comes off the color that it is but it starts making my eye shadow look a lot more cool toned I like the shade though I just don't think I look that great in cool tones I guess my undertone and stuff just I feel like pulls me to such warm warm shadows. All right, now I have the, there's that really light color in here. I was gonna put that in the corners, like a highlight, to brighten it up. And then final step, I'm gonna put a little bit more of the darkest shadow from this quad this one right here, and I'm gonna put that in my outer V. I think the eyeshadow is done. I'm wiping off this brush. I'm going to blend just a little bit. I mean, the eyeshadow is like, nobody is gonna see that you have Tom Ford eyeshadow on. It's just your own, your own knowledge, or unless you have people in your you know, bathroom getting ready with you or something. Other than that, it's like, it's your own. I mean, the eyeshadow is like, nobody is gonna see that you have Tom Ford eyeshadow on. It's just your own your own knowledge, or unless you have people in your, you know, bathroom getting ready with you or something. Other than that, it's like it's your own thing. Nobody's gonna know that. I wouldn't know that. I wouldn't be like, oh, that looks like Coco Mirage. <laughs> so, I don't know. Some people are really into it. I've never been like a big um, name brand type of person, so. Now let's go in with the Tom Ford bronzer. So I have the color Terra, which is two, I guess. I don't know if there's two Terras or just Terra is number two. Looks like this. It's really pretty. That is the color.
Okay, we are all bronzed now. So now for my newest product, which I picked this up the other day, this is the Skin Illuminating Powder Duo. And it's right here. It's got a, so it's got a highlight and it has a blush in there and it's in the shade Incandescent and it's 07. So this is a little dark for me. Um, well, the blush, and the blush is really, you can see like iridescent there. It has some sparkle to it. And then let me swatch the, and there's the highlight on top. Highlights beaming. These are extremely pigmented. So if you have this, you probably know that already. If you don't have it, yes, beware. Beware of that. I'm actually gonna use just a very soft dual fiber stipple brush because I know how pigmented these are. So let's just see. I'm gonna start with the blush, just put a little bit on and Okay, this brush seems to probably be a good choice since it is so light and able to really help feather out the product as you put it on. A regular blush brush is like bam in your face. So this is definitely the type of brush I think this product is meant for. So normally I don't go for such a dark blush, but I didn't really know and they didn't have any other offer, any others available and I just wanted to try it. And I figured, you know, this is actually not a bad match for me. It's just a little bit darker than I typically would go. Which is okay. So now that I've used that color, I'm gonna bring some of it up into my eyeshadow and blend it in for a more cohesive look. Put some on a, thinking that this is really pigmented. I have to be careful. I think that looks pretty. So that part is done and now let's go in with the highlighter. This is like intense highlighter. So I'm gonna be very gentle. I'm gonna use this uh, Morphe, Morphe brush. It's just a little highlighter brush. Put just a teeny bit on here. So this is definitely like a highlighter that's gonna show texture. And take that blush brush and try to blend them together a little bit more. Sometimes I like to put highlighter on first because I feel like it looks more natural blended in with your blush than just like a, you know, a stripe of highlighter on your face. All right, I think I'm happy with that. So now I'm gonna go off camera. I'll put on my powder, my face a setting spray, and then I'm gonna put on my mascara. I don't have a mascara from Tom Ford. I wish I did. Um, and then I'm gonna come back and we'll do lip products. Okay, so I'm back with the makeup done. Um, all the face makeup is done at this point. I got mascara on, eyebrows. Everything is looking good. Now, lipstick. So I only have three little lipsticks from Tom Ford, and let's go through each one. I'll tell you about them. So I have this Ultra Shine Lip Color in Bear 01. So that looks like this. And swatches like that. So it is lighter though. I'll put it on. 
I would wear this with, definitely with a lip liner. So without a lip liner, it definitely washes me out. But with a lip liner, I think that this would look great. And I've got actually like two of these similar colors. So let's go, let's take this off and I'll show you the next one. Okay, so this is my newest lipstick in the color Joe. And it's a lip color rouge. I actually was so aggravated when I bought this because I was trying to get the color like Richard and I totally messed up and, and picked this one. It's just in the wrong spot. And then when I got to the car, I realized that I did and I just was like, oh well. When you buy things from the cosmetics company, you can't return them. So all sales are final, which is fine. I mean, I got such a good deal on this. This was like um, 15 bucks for this one. And I think it's normally like 40 maybe, something like that. And so this is that next color, Joe, that was bare in the Ultra Shine, and then Joe. Once again, a pretty good shade if I had a lip liner on. I like this. It's a little bit darker, which is a little bit better, more comfortable for me. But let's go to the next one. And that's the one, this is the one that came in the Sephora kit. I think I picked up some kind of Best at Sephora lip kit and it came with this one in Casablanca. Looks very similar to this other one. It is also a rouge, rouge a le livres. And this one, same. I'm probably just killed it. I am horrible at pronunciation and other languages. <laughs> so it's a double whammy. So this is Casablanca and this is really a cute pink. So it's like a deeper pink color. I think that this looks great. So this is what I'm running with today. Let me swatch it compared to the other ones just so you can see. I mean, you can see it on my lips, but that was the nude, that was Joe, this is Casablanca, beautiful. And this is just a teeny wee lipstick, but it's, you know, that's what you get. This was probably full price, like $30. It's ridiculous. So that's it. This is my full base of Tom Ford makeup. Really, all of it is due to the cosmetics company and the great deals that you can find there. I love that place. I'm actually going to go head there today and see what else I can dig up. So hopefully I have some new products to share with you guys. I can't stop. I can't stop. Won't stop. Too good of deals. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you again soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.